Happy Friday! Happy. Yes! Woo. Happy Equinox! Did you guys know it was the Equinox today? Yeah. Oh yeah! Today is the Equinox, and that is why I wear no socks. Yes! Because I try my best to live and think outside the box. Yes! And yeah. question every single paradox. Keep on going. And wear a mismatched pair of socks, if I do wear socks. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I'm a big fan of, of valuing comfort over conformity. Last time I talked about not having any shame in your game. I'm tired of all this self-consciousness stuff of being worried about what other people Yo. think. Hey, bro. So I'm a big advocate for just being comfortable. <laughs> valuing comfort over conformity, and that's why I got these crazy shoes that I'm not even wearing right now because they're kind of wet, and that's why I'm actually barefoot. Um, so no socks on the equinox, and I don't pay attention to clocks, so I might run over time. But anywho, my name is Philosophical, and I'm going to share some paradigm-shifting flowetry here tonight on this beautiful equinox. And right now, the world is spinning at 2,000 miles an hour, so you might want to buckle your seatbelts. It's always spinning at 2,000 miles an hour. Keep that in mind. Just think... Thinking about the equinox, our planet is constantly spinning through space as this spaceship Earth that we all live on. It's pretty wild. So, anywho, yeah. let's celebrate the equinox with some paradigm shifting flow tree. Can you sense something strange? Like we're living amidst a big change? Not a change to a new form of rocket ships. What's becoming more obvious is we need a change in consciousness. I'm talking change as we remove splinters from our brains, as we identify the sources of our pains, as we release these invisible chains. And so my flows will not be about hoes while half the globe's lacking food and clothes. See, our culture is filled with information, but never wisdom. Okay. Little kids sitting glued to the television, getting locked into a mental prison. TV, creating hella victims, inflicting tunnel vision and programming our decisions. Clicking off is the mission. See, what if I don't conform and form a swarm of brainstorms that break all the norms? My life's been a roller coaster ride through space and time. I wasn't facing time, but I let demons infiltrate my mind. Living life centered around wasting time until I woke up, said I ain't wasting mine. Metaphorical scoliosis, now I've got a straightened spine. But then I felt searing pain. The world's wounds have no covering. Oceans gasping for air while civilization is smothering. Meanwhile, Gaia is trying to do some mothering. Confused kids, we just pollute her with another thing. See, we live in a world of paradox. Kenyan kids yearn for a pair of socks while Americans anxiously stare at clocks. Wasting our entire lives away Until we open up our eyes and say I'm taking off this blindfold Revealing my divine soul And changing up my mind's mold But we're up against the machine's invincible wrath Tough to keep the torch lit on the invisible path You may get lost in the darkness of despair Seeing no way out of that devilish lair. But deep in your heart, there remains an emperor. Synchronistic deja vu helps you remember that a more beautiful world is possible, even amongst monstrous obstacles. All it takes is a new pair of perceptual spectacles to see that life is ineffably incredible unforgettably majestical cause butterflies and caterpillars DNA is identical 
and the universe will help you unleash your potential. A change in beliefs is all that's essential. And the world we live in is infinitely intricate. Just gotta find your niche amidst the symphony of instruments. And it's the space in between that gives life to the dream. If you keep your eyes keen, then you'll see what I mean. And beyond pessimist, optimist dichotomies are practical transition town philosophies towards a world with less PCBs and a lot of trees based on reciprocities. Converging revolutions, there are lots of these sprouting up like poppy seeds at increasing velocities. And once your ego deflates, become humbled and grounded. Realize the universe has us surrounded. Feeling interconnected, you're bound to be astounded. But separation's been ingrained in us. No culture's as insane as us. Thinking we're invincible, we've snorted too much angel dust. <laughs> to break this vicious cycle, we gotta live spontaneous. <laughs> And these are just pieces to a thesis on top of exotic hypnagogic logic. And essentially the conclusion is that separation is an illusion. No species deemed exclusion from deleterious pollution. So you may ask, who, what, where, when, how? But we're the ones we've been waiting for the transition is now. Yeah. Now we're going to jam in to celebrate that paradigm shifting flow tree. That is on YouTube, by the way, if you search paradigm shifting flow tree. And, we're, and my buddy here is filming it too, so scooby doo. But yeah, let's do some, some jam and celebrate in the equinox. Thank you all for listening. <laughs> Here, you guys can stand in front. I'll be in the background. Oh, 